Hi, everybody. Chris Dunn here of Game Keto and Hobby Game Dev. What I want to talk to you about today is what I've been working on. It's called the hands-on intro to game programming. All this, by the way, is HTML5 JavaScript Canvas. It's just a way to get into game programming that follows the same path that I've recommended for many years. That's the same one I used. A lot of game programmers out there who are experienced suggest to newcomers, and that is that you start simple. You start with some classic styles of games, classic space battle game. We've got momentum, we've got rotational angles, we have projectiles, collisions, screen wrap. And there's, there's several conceptual and technical leaps made along the way. Hands-on intro to game programming is all about walking you through those, the rationale, the thinking, the technical details involved. You see we've got collidable, tile-based maps, and starting to move forward sort of in game history where you move a navigable character, you pick up keys for your inventory, and you've got an RTS game. Real simple, real bare minimum. I can coordinate units, I can drag them, lasso them, move them around, I can set them to target. You know what I notice about these games is that they're not very sophisticated and they're not very complete. And that's actually a part of the package. The whole point of hands-on intro to game programming is that you're going to be completing them. And you get from where you started to something a bit more sophisticated. I can walk you through how to do through the book. The first half is devoted entirely to writing step-by-step, problem-by-problem, the source code for the projects that I showed. So if I go to Tennis Game, you'll see here, there's 27 different versions of this file from the simplest, plainest version. Yeah, there's a black screen where the game will take place to version four, there's a ball, <laughs> version six, the ball is now moving, bounce off the sides, there it goes. Before that, it just went off the side. For each of these, this book, which is now over 300 pages long, it walks you through what to do, why to do it, what's going on with the code, how we're getting this to work, layer by layer, fill the background with black, draw the white ball, or make variables for the ball position, putting a score on the screen. If you're ever unsure how to do any of these things, well, that's why you've got example solutions here, where you can open it up in your, in your text editor of choice. There's the source code for the entire step. Anytime I've added lines, I put four comment marks after it. So you can always see where your new changes are in this step-by-step -step incremental creation of these projects. Now, tennis games are very simple one. So for those, it's all in a single file. But if we look at something like racing, Pretty quickly, this gets spread across multiple JS files, an images folder where the assets being loaded. Step 23 for racing looks like that. Okay, so it looks like we have one car yet. It does collide with walls. This is the way that you can, you can get into this step by step. It's not just about copy this code, trust that it's gonna work. I really devote a lot of attention here to walking you through how each and every bit of it works, why you're doing this, why you're doing that, uh, what the foundations are for these projects, and I've been teaching people game development now for a lot of years. We work on very simple projects. You don't make things any more complicated than they need to be. The tennis game, where you can get away with having everything on file, everything kind of hacky, everything kind of slapdash. And as you progress through these, these increasingly sophisticated projects, then you begin to have a practical reason for dividing up your project. Take all your globals, start shuffling them into classes, organizing them into separate files. You'll progress naturally because you're going to be solving the problems as they come up when you have a real reason to do it. Not just because you're taught to memorize this is the right way to do it, but I'm going to put you in a situation where the solution to your problem is learning a concept, and I explain that concept in the book, and you can refer to the solution over in the example code. And so that's hands-on intro to game programming. That should be out soon. I've been working on it forever, finally getting it wrapped up. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about that, you can go to gameketo, G-A-M-K-E-D-O.com. Scroll down to where I've got my sort of technical skills, materials, uh, and that's where this will go when it is wrapped up. Or there's also a mailing list. If you click on that, you can join that, and I'll send out an email as soon as it's ready. You'll probably even get a discount if you join that list. Uh, Chris Dillion here. Uh, wish me a happy birthday. It's my 30th today. Hope you all are all doing great, and I'll have more for you all soon. Thanks. Bye-bye getting in there, getting your hands dirty, learning how to program games, making it work.